Hey guys, welcome back. Do you want to live in a luxury home that is, if you see in this video just the way it is, is around $2 million? In the heart of Lake Nona, like five minutes from Medical City and the 417? Well, stay tuned. I got a beautiful home to show you. Give me that intro. Boy, this gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids, just kids. That's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to. Careful them dollar signs, like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents, and now I got two rents. They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big. Hey guys, this is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor, and today I'm gonna show you this beautiful luxury home by Toll Brothers in the heart of Lake Nona, Minutes from Medical City, Laurier Park, Eagle Creek. 417 and all of the amenities of Central Florida within distance. This is the Corbell model by Toll Brothers at Shores at Whipperpool. It is a four bedroom, three and a half bath, three car garage, coming in at 40, 60 square feet. It's a beautiful home. And as always, if you can hit the subscribe and alert buttons down below, it truly does help my channel. Punch it, kick it, crunch it, whatever you like to do, that's up to you. And stay with me so we can see this beautiful home together. Hey guys, here we are. This is the Corbell Martin from Toll Brothers. It is a beautiful home and let's go take a look. Now look, the slate roof here, that is an upgrade. So you can get a conventional roof, but you can get that slate Florida roof if you like. And I love all the modern roof lines this home has. Love the side garage and your main turn garage here. So that makes it a three car garage. Beautiful doors in the front here. Very modern look with that huge foyer window right above with the canopy for shade as soon as you step out the home. Very nice. The home has lots of textures, as you can see with the windows and some of the uh, structure pushed in and the stonework it's a beautiful home so let's go inside so as soon as you step into the home on the left is the entry door for the garage that one car garage on the left and then you have these beautiful stairs heading all the way up into sort of a bridge for the upstairs section of the home i'm going to take a look at that real quick in a second and then you see the mid or uh, mid passageway through the home right here love how it's blocked out like that and then to your right uh, as soon as you step in we have the flex space office space the two barnyard doors that slide open very nice and as you can see, it's a large space, has that rectangular window there for natural lighting. Very nice. Love the way the designer set up, set up this room. The desk looks very modern. I love that look. Wish this was my office. <laughs> and you have those high ceilings, pendant linings over the desk. Very nice. You can tell that the uh, floor is highly upgraded in this home. Very nice design. They even changed the patterns in the foyer section of the home. Beautiful. And I figured we go upstairs first. So as we walk up 
the stairs, as you can see here, the, we have this large two-story foyer with the stairway here. This grand chandelier right up in the front. Very nice. And I'm gonna head up the stairs right now. As you get to the midsection of the stairway, it is a platform and you can see how beautiful all the windows, all of the uh, airiness and spaciousness of this foyer is. It is definitely a main feature of the home. All right, let's get to the so second guys, floor. As soon as we get to the second floor, we come right up to the top of the stairs and we have a hallway this way. We're gonna get to that in a second. And then we have this gorgeous loft right here. Of course, windows here for natural lighting. You have enough space for two desks, as you can see, set up, and a sitting area. Very nice for entertainment, kids to watch TV, and all of that stuff. And then we have another passageway right here. So I'm gonna start by going to the right. And as we come to the right, we have a closet here first, which is your AC closet, of course. Right. Love the doors in this home. And then to the left, we have double doors that lead into a game room or a secondary loft. And I can't say enough about the space. Look how much space you have here. Enough for a sectional, seats in the middles for those comfort, table seats in the middle you have your TV against the wall here and I'm gonna just back up so we can see this room from this perspective enough room for a ping-pong table this is beautiful windows lining the walls for natural lighting then you got your high hots and your fan hookup very nice and there's your double doors leading back out this room. So we're gonna head back that way. Very impressed already. And I believe guys that this is a corner Jack and Jill hookup. So let's start with this room here. And as you come into the room, before we head all the way in, we have a closet space here. Yeah, and this is a walk-in closet hookup, as you can see. All right, and we're gonna turn, and let's see the whole perspective of this room. Gorgeous room, lots of room. Windows, those slanted windows, or rather rectangular windows for natural lighting. I love how they're staggered. Have a little pet bench there, that's nice. And you have enough for a desk space here. And I'm gonna head to this corner right here which has an entryway, which I believe is the start of that bathroom for the Jack and Jill, but I'm gonna spin around so you can get a good perspective of the room here on this side. Very nice. And forgive me, I'm gonna turn one more time into your pantry for the Jack and Jill. Pendant lighting, mirror, you have your vanity set up here, cabinetry, beautiful cabinetry. You got that white cabinet with the pools, the black pools, stone surface, and the sink. And then we head to the shower room space between the two rooms here. And of course you have your, another window here for natural lighting. And then you have your tub with the tile, herringbone tile all the way up. And I do love how they did the octagon uh, shaped tiles here with mismatched colors. Very nice. That is what's in. And we pass the secondary door here for our secondary vanity section for the Jack and Jill. And of course you have your beautiful upgraded white cabinet under with the black poles again and hard stone surface, large vanity with a mirror and the appendant lighting. Very nice. Let's head through. And then we come upon our second bedroom here. 
As you can see, lots of space. Another window for natural lighting. And directly to the right, as soon as you step into the room from that bathroom, you have the half step in closet here. Very beautiful. And let's take a look at this room from here. Very nice. All right. And as we cross over to the other side of the home, we pass our game room and loft section here again. And we come upon another closet here. I am guessing this is for, it's a linen closet. So for your towels and stuff, maybe some games on the bottom there for the game uh, loft section and the loft room. So as we proceed further, we come upon another full bathroom here. And I love that the towel is all the way up from the tub to the ceiling. You have your, again, pendant lighting mirror, cabinet, stone surface, and sink. Very nice bathroom. And then directly to the left of that is another room. And I love this. This would be, if I was a teenager growing up in this house, this would be my room because I love all the windows here. There's four for natural lighting. And as you come around the bend here. There's a walk-in closet right there. That's pretty deep, actually. Let's go take a look at that. I uh, missed how deep this was. Huh. Look, so you have a like a shelf system there. That's pretty cool. Nice closet. And another look from at the room from this perspective. Very nice. And now I believe we're gonna go downstairs and see the rest of this gorgeous home. See you down there. All right guys, so I ended up back downstairs next to the office space again from the front door in this two-story foyer. And I know you guys are interested in seeing what is in this closet here. So, it is our coat closet. Though it's Florida, we still get those here. You can use it for storage, hang someone's sweater in February, whatever you might want. It's always good to have storage space. And then the home opens all the way up. I love what they did here with the wood ceilings, tray ceilings, the wood beam finishes and the high hots. Love the pocket doors here to the outdoor space. And then another set of pocket doors here. And then this is cut off to be your gathering room, family room section of the home. And right in the middle, you have your Dining space, breakfast nook, or formal eatery area. And here is your full gourmet kitchen. Gorgeous. Good idea for the wine shelf here and your little bar. But in this notch out here, you have your butler's pantry slash wine fridge area. Beautiful details, backsplash, cabinetry with the see-through inset glass. Very nice. As we spin around, we come back to our kitchen area here. And I will show you this area in a minute, but top of the line KitchenAid Sub-Zero fridge here. As you proceed in, you have your uh, KitchenAid oven here. Well, microwave, I'm sorry, that's the microwave. That's the cappuccino maker. Very nice. 
beautiful cabinetry, 42 inch cabinetry, all through this house. Gorgeous backsplash. Now, very quickly, this is an upgrade for the large gas stove. The gas, it's a gas community, but the size of the stove is an upgrade with that professional oven below and this huge kitchen range to take all the smells of cooking out of the house. Very nice. You have your pocket doors again here and you have this gorgeous large island. That's about 15 feet across, maybe more. You have your dishwasher here, your farm sink here, gorgeous gooseneck right there. Different color cabinetry on this side of the island. Once again, that is in style. So you have your browns here and your whites here. All right, guys. So let's spin around real quick. There's your pantry again and fridge. And we're gonna come down this little hallway. As we come down this little hallway, we have our half bath powder room here, right? So we have, of course, our vanity and our toilet right there. Love the wainscoting around this little bathroom space. And then as we turn this way, there is the garage door to the two car garage and maybe a little notch out for the drop and stop section here, which is nice. And then we come to our laundry room space. I love the utility sink here, cabinetry on top, washer and dryer. We have our window for natural lighting. We have this little notch out for dirty laundry and hanging of wet clothes. Then we have a second storage space area, which can be dubbed as a second pantry if you needed it. Very nice. Or just for laundry storage materials. And I think it even goes further in. Yeah, it does. So you, you have way more space here. So lots of storage in this home. All right. So as we head out of the laundry, let's see if we can go outside and show you exactly. Well, let's take a pan right quick, quick of the openness of this home. Love it. And let me see if I can get to the outside and show you what they did with the enclosed lanai and outdoor space. Straight from the kitchen area, we come to our outdoor space. Look at this, guys. So this is your covered lanai. Not enclosed, sorry, covered. I love the way they decorate it. Very nice. And then, I love, for some reason, I love the beige uh, wicker. That's pretty nice. Oh my goodness. Now this is not included with the home. This is obviously an upgrade, but my goodness, imagine this in your backyard. Umbrella with the sun seats. You have the hot tub pitched in the corner here. And then that canopy of the uh, gazebo area. It's just, that is, next level Whew. you know i could jump in this pool right now this is amazing you have the other side of those pocket doors right here with your fan hook up and your extended covered lanai with your notched out wall here. Love that. It gives a lot of shade to this area. All right, let's head back in. 
So guys, how are you liking this tour? If you love this tour, if this house does something for you, leave me a, a comment in the comment sections. Let me know what you love about this house. Like, it, was it the pool area? Was it the loft? Is it the master that we're about to go see? Let me know, I'm, I'm interested in hearing. So, as we keep going forward from the outside area through the open concept of the home, we head to this final door here. And I'm not even gonna show you this way yet. Hold on, we're gonna go to the right. And to the right we have our master bedroom space. To the right, we have one walk-in closet. So you have a his and hers closet in this hallway. And you turn to this side, here is the other closet. It's pretty deep, that one. Okay. Then we come to the sleeping area. And I love what they did with the wood beams on the ceiling. That's one of my favorite looks. If you watch my videos, I always comment that I want that in my own home. Love that look. Then we have our windows here for natural lighting. And this is pretty big, guys, this uh, bedroom suite. I'm uh, standing here in the corner and that bed looks lost in this room. And the dresses are long to boot. And you look how much space, you have to put a plant just to cover up space here. You have a seat here in this corner. And then let me just pitch this down. Look how much space is left over. Very nice. Then we have the windows that look out to that gorgeous pool area. I'm gonna spin around so you can see the room from this perspective. And then we're gonna head straight into that master bath suite. Whoa, as soon as you step in, <laughs> they play no games here, guys. Look at that deep tub right in the middle of the bathroom, right? Then you have your vanities on the left and the right, long vanity with the seating area notched out with that window for natural lighting. Of course, your mirror, pendant lighting, and your sink. And then the same on this side. You have your water room here. And then this, this shower, wow. You got your niches in here. You know what? Let's just go take a tour of the shower. How about that? Hmm? Let's open this up and then look at this tile work. Every inch of this shower, I mean, it has to, but it has tile everywhere. Everywhere. Dual controls. I'm stepping in. As you can hear the echo, so I'm gonna lower my voice a little bit so I don't blare out. And then that's the other side of the shower, but in the middle is your rain drop shower head. This is a gorgeous bathroom. Love this bathroom. All right, that's your tub again. And guys, I believe that is your home. If you love this home, give me a comment in the comment section and stay tuned and I'm gonna send you off in a minute. All right guys, so if you love this home, if this is the home for you and your family, give me a call, 407-790-0929. As always, this is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Give me that outro.
kids for my kids and for their kids as kids that's wealth years and years promise my brother soon as he out and finish this bid we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did the odds is real big job that's real big satan trying a little my god is real big stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big i gotta do it big the only way that i can live and I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to Careful them dollar signs, like lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind to Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents And now I got two rents They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big